Hey! You all right there? Yeah. Sorry it took so long. Your sister okay? Yeah, she's safe. I meant to come earlier, but we were shorthanded everywhere. Guys, get working on that rubble, okay? Yes, sir. Right away! So... You did this? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Huh. Not too bad, kid. Tell me, ever thought about becoming a guardian? Huh? <laughs> well, it could be interesting. I'll think about it. This way. Watch your step. Ethan! <laughs> Lumia! <sighs> I'm so glad you're, you're okay. I knew you'd save me. I just knew it. The strange meteorites that have plagued the first and third planets, Parum and Motub, have finally reached the second planet, New Days, early this morning with truly horrifying results. The meteors left a path of destruction in their wake, contaminating the Earth wherever they struck. The local fauna has grown increasingly hostile, along with reports of new and unknown life forms. Due to the shape of the meteorites and emerging unidentified life forms from within, authorities have begun calling these objects seeds. The seed destruction, which started at the Alliance Centennial Ceremony, has reached astronomical proportions. A galaxy-wide state of emergency has been declared. The planetary governments have mobilized the Alliance military force for relief efforts. Stability is the AMF's first priority in order to prevent any further casualties. Obel Dalgun, who leads the Guardians, has issued a statement. Presented here is a portion of his speech. But could it be too late? Experts are predicting another wave of seed attacks soon. Reporting live from the Guardians colony.
Ethan begins his guardian training on the planet Parum. Who is the mysterious partner that he is to be paired with? Who are the strange mother and child that they meet on Perun, a planet controlled by castes? Next time on Fantasy Star Universe, Typical Lives. <laughs>